yes welcome back everybody to altcoin daily where you subscribe for a video on crypto every day my name's austin great to have you checking in because today i want to provide to you my six top altcoin picks that i believe will do very very well by the end of this q4 so if you're looking for a great place to stay up to date on the crypto market then click subscribe you do not want to miss one of our daily videos and team out of the six altcoins that we'll be talking about today i only chose five of them that sixth one you chose yes uh i reached out to you a couple days ago on our twitter and i said hey team which altcoins do you believe will have the best q4 performance and why and you responded and there's a lot of comments, but I tallied up those comments and the altcoin that you mentioned the most got put in our lineup today. So get excited. We'll talk about that when the time comes, but let's get into it. Hey, and if you wanna participate with us on Twitter, feel free to follow us, link in the description below. And guys, I gotta mention, I am not a financial advisor, so do your own research, make your own opinions, and just think of this channel as two people having a beer, talking crypto. That's Altcoin Daily. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. My first coin that I want to put on your radar is Elastos. Have you guys heard about it? Well, currently a low cap coin, Elastos is relatively new in the crypto space. So not a lot of people do know about it. So I want to briefly clue you guys in. Elastos is what's known as a generation three cryptocurrency. And Elastos is actually aiming to be three things. Number one, they're aiming to be the internet of the future. So much like Substratum, they're aiming to be a decentralized internet on the blockchain to give you and I back ownership of our data and our digital assets. So question, why do we need a new internet? Well, answer because a big problem that we're facing right now is companies like Amazon and Facebook and Google. They are in control of our data, i.e. in control of our privacy, and then they can monetize that data and use that data any way they wish. So there is a problem. Elastos is aiming to be that solution uh, as a decentralized internet. That's number one. Number two, Elastos is aiming to be a virtual machine to run dApps. Now, we all know Ethereum, the OG, the original DAP platform, but uh, Elastos is aiming to be a better, more scalable, more efficient DAP platform. That's number two. And number three, uh, aiming to be an operating system for Internet of Things devices. Those three things, that's Elastos. Now, team, I could go on. You know, I could tell you all about their CEO, Rong Chen, how he was the senior engineer at Microsoft before Elastos. I could talk all about their partnership with Bitmain and merged mining. We could go on and on, but you know what? We don't have that kind of time. We have six altcoins to talk about. For those of you guys that want to, however, I will leave this link in the description below. I did a deep dive on Elastos a few weeks ago for the full story. Check that out. But I just want to share what excites me about Elastos and Q4. Because real talk, guys, anybody can talk about you know decentralized internet, anybody can talk about operating systems for internet of things devices, but if people don't actually use it, then what's the point? Well, Elastos TV box to bring 1 million carrier nodes by the end of the year. So, Elastos TV box, uh, think of that as similar to like Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku, stuff like that. They're shipping them out to homes and offices and a lot of places and one million of those uh, will be out by the end of the year. And all of those will act as carrier nodes. What's a carrier node? Uh, carrier nodes allow for the P2P or peer-to-peer -peer communication within the system. So it'll allow the system to communicate. And this is only significant uh, because it's in every single TV box. And guys, it's not a question of privacy or anything like that. That's, it will not be watching you in your home, but this will be used. Uh, One million will be shipped by the end of the year. So that excites me about Elastos. Two other things that kind of excite me about Elastos is one, 
uh, it's it's uh, sort of at all time lows right now, uh, or near all time lows. Currently trading at seven dollars and ninety seven cents. And guys, their circulating supply is relatively low, which means when their market cap does increase, when we do get a bull run, um, because their circulating supply is low, the price will skyrocket. And one more thing, right now, if we check on markets for Elastos, Elastos is on some, it's on KuCoin, Foby, but it's really not on that many markets at the moment. So. Over the next quarter, over the next year, as it does get on more markets, as it gets more volume and offers more liquidity, I really feel that uh, Elastos will be a sleeping giant when it comes to Q4 of this year. That's me. Guys, that's Elastos in a nutshell. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, but let's keep going. Zilliqa. Zilliqa is solving scalability. Now, what is Zilliqa? Well, Azilica planned for scalability from the start by utilizing a sharding model that could facilitate millions of transactions per second. The network simply increases the number of active nodes in proportion to the number of transactions, ensuring it can always meet transaction demands no matter how numerous they become. So essentially, Zilliqa is solving the scalability problem. And guys, let's be honest. There is a problem, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they can't handle the volume, they're too slow, they're too expensive. But if we're being real, a lot of cryptocurrencies out there are aiming to solve the scalability problem. EOS is one, uh, Tron's another, they're, they're out there. What makes Zilliqa different? Well, Zilliqa is using sharding, and while a lot of cryptocurrencies talk about it, Zilliqa is the only one aiming to do it. And what is sharding? Well, think of sharding as compartmentalizing, or, or maybe subdividing is a better word. But essentially, they, they separate the processing power, the information, into different shards, making it a whole lot easier uh, and faster um, with their transactions. That's sharding. And uh, once they implement that, I think that's going to be really huge for Zilliqa. Because one thing that excites me in Q4 for Zilliqa uh, is they're worth watching. They were Their mainnet launch is coming out. It was originally scheduled for Q3. They pushed it, and they're currently targeting at the end of this year or January of next year. So it's coming soon for the launch of the Zilliqa mainnet. And taken directly from the announcement, the team uh, is using this extra time to prepare for and execute the token swap, integrate with wallets, bring more dApps on board. So essentially, uh, launch the mainnet. So that excites me about Zilliqa. And let's check this out, because if Zilliqa uh, can implement this sharding successfully, that will be huge for the crypto community and huge for Zilliqa. And check this out, team. Zilliqa reached all-time highs back in January of 20 cents, roughly 20 cents. And right now, they're trading at 3 cents. So if Zilliqa just gets back to what their all-time highs were in January, which I can see it doing, that'll be a 5x. This is the difference, team. Uh, once the next bull run hits, and Zilliqa has this technology, they have their main net launched, I can see them doing better on their all-time highs since they actually have a working product now. That's just me, you know, just a 5x would be enough for me, uh, but I'm definitely bullish on Zilliqa, and I wanted to share that with you guys. What do you guys think? We're two down, have I mentioned your altcoin yet? Let me know in the comments if you, if, uh, if you have, a, if you have a, some input, uh, what altcoins you like, and guys, if you've gotten any value out of today's video thus far, feel free to give it a like. Let's keep going. Number three, coin that I think that I'm bullish on for Q4 is Binance coin. Does that surprise anybody? Okay, sorry that it's an exchange coin. Sorry that's not sexy enough for you, but just hear me out because I honestly feel that Binance coin is not only quality, but I think it's a coin that uh, will do very well in the upcoming bull run. And check this out, team. First off, what's obviously it's the coin for the Binance exchange, but what does it do? Well, uh, when you use BNB, their coin, to pay for exchange fees, as in 
know, buying or selling crypto, you receive a significant discount according to the chart below. So for the next four years, as long as you own Binance coin, you get a significant discount. And here's the dirty little secret of crypto, or not so secret. Binance is the number one exchange at the moment. It's doing the most volume. You guys can check this out on coinmarketcap.com. It has the majority of the quality coins out there and Binance is leading the charge. So their coin is valuable. And check this out, guys. Currently trading at $10.29. This is Binance. You know, it's all all-time highs back in January of $24. And for every single other coin that saw this pump in January, most of them, Zilliqa, Ethereum, Bitcoin, after they saw this pump, they went down and down and down, close to where they were uh, all of last year. Whoa, but uh, Binance is way up here. Uh, they've been holding steady at around the $10 to $15 mark, and right now they seem to be forming a support line of $10, and we're in the most bearish part of this bearish year that we've seen. Uh, but Binance is supporting. And why not? Because they offer value, and people are still on the exchange. And guys, nobody's coming into crypto at the moment. But when the bull run starts and people do come into crypto, they're not going to go to those, uh, I mean, some will, but the majority will not go to those extraneous uh, exchanges. They'll go to the most popular ones. And I think Binance Coin is only going to get more popular with the bull run. That's just me being honest, team. Let me know what you think. We are three down. Let's keep going. Yes. Number four is VeChain, the most valuable supply chain management cryptocurrency in terms of market cap. And guys, I'm going to be real honest. I'm not going to insult you and waste your time by talking about what differentiates VeChain, uh, what VeChain is, any of that stuff. Because just five days ago, I released a video just dedicated to VeChain, talking about what will it do in 2018? Can VeChain make you a millionaire realistically? Excuse me for a sec. Whoa, had to cough. All right, guys, I'm still here. Um, I just released a video on it, guys. So if you want to check that out, let me know in the comments. Uh, but again, I'm not going to waste your time. What I will talk about is where I see VeChain headed in the next quarter, in this quarter, Q4. Because right now, VeChain is VET. But just a few months ago, VeChain was VEN. They had a rebranding in a sense. And this only presents a problem. It's great, but it only looks like it presents a problem if you go down to the chart. Because you see, whoa, this coin's only been available for a few weeks now. Doesn't have any history. But that's not true. Uh, it just doesn't show the old stuff. But back when VeChain was Ven, and again, it's the same coin, just a different name, essentially, with a higher supply, but same market cap. Anyway, it saw all time highs back in January of, let's see, I don't know, seven, eight dollars, which was significant. Eight dollars. And it went low, you know, dropped with the market, and it saw all time lows around $1.62. And if you transition to where we are now, really hasn't shifted uh, in value from when it switched over to Ben. So, yes, right now it says one cent, but uh, just right now it says, uh, whoa, cool, just wanna make sure one cent. If it just goes back to where it was when it was reaching all time highs, That'll be 3x, around 3 to 4x. And I can definitely see it doing that because it's only gotten more partnerships, right? It's partnered with a strategic partner with you know BMW and PwC. The list goes on and has only developed more, so I'm very bullish on VeChain. Again, I'll leave the link to the video and this list in the description below, guys. And I know it might be lame to pawn you off in another video, but I'll be honest, I worked really hard on that video and everything... Um, that I think VeChain has to offer, or a lot of stuff is offered in that video. So check it out. But on number four is VeChain. Four down, two to go. What are you guys thinking? This next coin, I doubt anybody has heard of, but I want to clue you guys in. Especially, uh, I think it's going to be very valuable in these upcoming months, Halloween coin. Have you guys heard about it? Well, currently ranked 1996 out of like the 2,000 cryptos that exist. It is very, very ultra low cap. And guys, hear me out. Not a lot of people talk about this, but Halloween is coming up at the end of October. 
how valuable do you think Halloween coin is going to be by the end of October? And think about this. Halloween's happening next year and the year after that and the year after that. How valuable... Guys, I'm kidding. This was a joke. If you guys, I know a lot of you didn't, but if you believe me, don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself because Halloween is a coin, is a crap coin. Great holiday, crap coin. And I just wanted to throw in a little joke here because we are with uh, have more cryptocurrencies in existence than ever. And when the bull run happens, there'll be people telling you, all, everybody will be telling you, hey, invest in. You got to start mining Halloween coin. You got to invest in this coin. Do not be fooled. Do your own research. This is a crap coin. Let's keep going, guys. I want to jump to the coin that you guys chose. I asked you, and what do you guys think it is? The number one coin that you guys picked that you feel will have the best performance uh, in this year of Q4 is da -da -da -da, Cardano. I'm very glad you guys chose this, because if it would have been a crap coin, I still would have talked about it, but I wouldn't have given my support. But I do really feel, as you guys know, that Cardano is a very promising project. They are off to a great start, and they actually just had their one-year anniversary. And guys, we talk about Cardano all the time, so I'm going to leave in the description below three reasons uh, why I like Cardano. This just sums up who Cardano is, uh, what their leadership is, and how they differentiate themselves from other coins. So again, to get the full story, go there. But in a nutshell, Cardano is a generation three cryptocurrency, will be a DAP platform, a currency, a better version of Ethereum. Um, and that's Cardano. But let me clue you in on why I feel Cardano will be a strong bet in Q4. This is their roadmap. And they actually just updated it. And let me just perfect this is their roadmap and they have it's very uh detailed which is great and they have a lot of stuff going for them but i'm just going to quickly sum it up uh one i think the important things are they're in the implementation stage of their test net and what does this mean it's uh, their cardano you know net is open to users such as exchanges developers and the regular community you and me we can start testing out uh, the Cardano, Cardano platform, and they will use this valuable information to pre-release feedback from users to help to make improvements. So right now they're optimizing, optimizing, optimizing. I think that uh, shows a lot of value for Cardano. Let's keep going. Let's zoom in. Oh yes, they just released this. So this actually just happened. The Yori desktop wallet got released, which is significant because it's a new light wallet for Cardano. And it's significant because it's on the desktop. Actually, the Google Chrome extension, which everybody has, Google Chrome, you can get this wallet, making it very much easier to store Cardano. Let's keep going. Ledger wallet. So it's going to have hardware wallet support with the Ledger Nano S. That's big. Whoa. We can make it. Debit cards, which will be huge because people, because if you have a fast cryptocurrency, it's one thing, but can people actually use it to buy and sell good? That's another. And with the debit card, uh, the funds will, the ADA, the Cardano funds will automatically be converted into the local currency of your choice. For example, yen. And you can use the debit card to pay for merchants as you normally would, whether that be online or that be in brick and mortar stores. I think that'll be huge for Cardano. And the biggest thing uh, which Charles, uh, their CEO, talks about all the time is side chains. Uh, one thing Cardano is racing to do is implement side chains, which will allow for faster transaction, faster transaction speeds, and more scalability. Guys, I think Cardano is a real winner, and obviously a lot of you guys do too. Uh, so let me just go to the Cardano page, and then we'll sum it up. Oh, this is the Cardano page, and then we'll sum it up. Um, Cardano is a little bit newer than those other DApp platforms like EOS and Tron and stuff, which means they're not as far along yet, but I think they're, think they're still very promising. Right now they're trading at $0.08, cents, and they actually saw all-time highs at $1.15. So if they just get back to their all-time highs, I think that comes out to about 14x, which is outrageous. That would be huge. and. 
I, you know, I'm not a financial expert, but the value that Cardano provides, I can definitely see them getting there. Cool, guys. That was five because we're not counting that Halloween coin. The last one I want to bring to you guys, and this one was hard because we're in such a bull bearish marker right now the market cap is so low that i think a lot of coins are great value i actually think any coin in the top 15 will see big big gains by the next bull run so it's very impossible it's sort of impossible for me to pick just one more you know it could be eos could be stellar i mean i think xrp is very capable could be a lot of them but the last one i want to bring to you is eos i like eos uh it's the ethereum killer they're a little uh, farther, more more far along than Cardano, and EOS is a blockchain project with an ambitious goal to be the top platform to developers to build apps on. Founded by a serial blockchain entrepreneur, Dan Laramir, the project will verify transactions by using delegated proof of stake consensus protocol, which was created by Laramir himself. Guys, bottom line, the reason I'm bullish on EOS is because it is offering a solution that's needed you know, more scalable DAP platform. And two, I'm bullish on Dan Laramir, who is their CEO. He has uh, created two successful cryptocurrencies in the past, led them both to success. And, uh, you know, that was years ago. And now he's on EOS, a third generation cryptocurrency. And EOS, something that's also very notable, saw all time highs not just in January, later in the year, it got up to eight over $20 in May. Right now it's trading at about $6. So if it gets back to where it was, that'll be around three, four X. Guys, that's it for me. These are six altcoins that I'm very bullish on. If I left an altcoin out that you feel should be there, let me know in the comments. I will be responding to each and every one. If you got any value out of today's video, give it a like. All right, team. We'll see you tomorrow.